Okay, now in today's video, you are going to be seeing exactly why it is best to always keep women at a distance when you are dating, and specifically why it is never in your best interest as a man to spend large amounts of time with women. I'm going to be showing you exactly why this one secret will typically destroy majority of all of your relationships. This is going to be a bit of a different video, but rest assured it will serve you at a very high level. Now, over the years, I've also had my own mentorship as well as my own specific process, right? This process to help you attract and keep women is called MBT, which stands for Masculine Behavioral Techniques. If you want to see what that is all about and how that can actually help you after this video is over today, I want you to go down below. I want you to click the the link in the description and check out that full length end to end free webinar presentation that I made specifically for you. Let's dive in. Okay, this is step by step exactly why you need to keep the women that you're dating at a distance at all times and you should never spend large amounts of time with women. Okay, here's what I mean by that. What you're going to notice as a man is the more time you spend with women, the weaker you are going to get the more emasculated you're going to get. And oftentimes what you're going to notice is the whole element of love in and of itself makes a man very weak and it will make you very emotional. It makes your heart weak, okay? This is not very good. So the first thing that we have to do, okay, in order for this video to process and sink in, so that way you can be level-headed and intelligent and feel good about yourself, what you have to remember is this, okay? Majority of men feel very lost because they're oftentimes chasing love. They don't feel complete, so they're looking for somebody, and when you're looking for somebody, you become a lot weaker, right? Because now you think that this person is going to do something for you. And here's what you're gonna realize. When you do get into that relationship, or when you do you know, sleep with that girl, or whatever the case may be, it doesn't do a whole hell of a lot for you anyways. So this is the first thing we have to do, is we have to shatter a belief. The first belief that we have to shatter is that with relationships, majority of men believe in an idea of unity. You believe in unity. You believe in you and the girl coming together and everything's going to be peaches and cream and sunshine and fucking rainbows and you're gonna feel great. This could not be further from the truth, okay? You believe that if you spend time together and then you make sure that the relationship's good and nurtured and you're this great, noble, upstanding guy and look how good you are and look, I was there for her and I showed her I was committed and I showed her that we're together, she doesn't give a shit. And you're gonna find very quickly she doesn't give a shit. So you're going to show care and you're going to show love. And then what you're going to notice is that the unity and the effort will be reciprocated is what you think. You believe that unity and effort will be reciprocated. And I put a star by this one because this is the big belief you have to shatter. And this couldn't be further from the truth. The goal is to keep the women that you date at a distance to maintain the leverage and to maintain the power. Relationships are not about love. Relationships are not about unconditional feelings of mutual love. Relationships are transactional. You are trading your masculinity, your survival value, your protection, and your status. You are putting that on the table for her femininity, beauty, okay, and all the things that she brings to the table as a woman. It is very transactional, and anybody who tells you that it isn't is full of shit, and they're lying to you. So. Men who spend large amounts of time with women are looked at as weak in the woman's eyes. Okay, and this is completely normal today for men and women to just like, you, you believe, okay, because the way everything is socially, right? We just mix and mingle and everybody's talking to everyone and you know, it's, but it, it can't be like that, okay? And I'm gonna tell you this, you'll notice that her respect level drops the more time you spend with her. Okay, especially if it's one-to-one -one time. Because she's sitting there going, this guy could be doing anything at any time, and here he is sitting with me. He could be doing a million different things. He has no other priorities besides sitting right here with me. So you'll notice that her interest level drops, and then what you're gonna notice is her tone of voice is always going to go passive aggressive. Not only that, she's not going to wanna have sex with you anymore, and then she looks at you, in disgust, like she starts to get disgusted by you, she starts to think that you're super weak, she starts to think that you're super emotional, like it's best to really only commit to yourself, like you commit to your own career, you commit to your own goals, you commit to your own purpose, you commit to how you wanna be as a man, and you just do that. You do that 24 seven, and truthfully, that's how she wanted you to be anyways, like she wanted you to just be an established, secure, stable man who has enough maturity to just be on your own path and on your own road. And you know what? If she decides to come on board with that and follow your lead in the direction of life that you're headed, 
so be it. And you know, women come and go, right? There might be a period of time in her life where she decides to be with you and then she might chase the next guy or the next, you know, the next shiny object that looks new and exciting. That's what she might chase next. But you're going to see that it's not in your best interest to believe in love. It's not in your best interest to believe that any of this shit exists. And what you're going to notice too, is the more you believe in all of the fairy tale narratives that you've just heard over the years, it does nothing more but make you weaker. It does nothing more than just make you more emotional and it doesn't help serve you at all. All of these concepts and these beliefs, despite them feeling good, what we know is that pleasure and pain has an inverse relationship, right? So the more something feels good and it's pleasurable, the more painful it's going to be on the back end when you have to deal with those negative repercussions. So you're going to see her tone become more passive aggressive the more time you spend with her. Um, she won't want to have sex with you anymore. And then she's going to look at you in disgust. And this stems all just from being with her, just from you being with her or being by her. Okay. And you being with her or being by her, um, all it does is it validates her, right? Any, any little bit of like, okay, you go in to hold her hand validation. You go in to give her a kiss validation and she knows you're attracted to her. You try to, um, let's say you guys sleep together right? Her subconscious is sitting there literally laughing at you going, look at that. I, you're so, you're so weak and lustful. I was able to just get you to do that. I mean, it's, it, it, it doesn't really add up to any benefit to you or for you. So what you're going to notice is that women will always tell you they want you to spend more time with them. So they're going to always need something to complain about. They're always going to need something to complain about and they're never going to be happy. And what you really just have to accept is that it is female nature to never be satisfied or to never be happy because they're optimizing hypergamy, right? So in the back of their brain, there's something always greener on the other side of the grass or the grass is always greener on the other side of the road, even if it actually isn't. And you're going to notice a lot of times they don't make the best mating decisions, especially when they realize that, Hey, you know, um, they should have laid their cards differently or the guy who they were committed to ended up, you know, actually obtaining excellence in life, or he ended up actually fulfilling his potential. And you're going to notice that a lot of times, um, the split second decisions that they make in the moment, a lot of times don't really help them out in the long run. So what you got to remember is like your logical brain, you were blessed and you were born, um, with God given ability to think rationally. Okay. So you, you need to lean into that because you're the, you're the one who can make the right calculated decisions here. They are the ones who are never happy. So here's what happens since they're never happy. If you're distant, she's going to act as if she needs more of you and she's going to act as if she needs more of your time. Okay. But then on the reverse of that, if you're close to her and if you give her a lot of your time, well, now she's going to disrespect you for being there. And now she's going to think that you're low value. So you can't put any of your eggs in a basket at all. You, it, the saying is don't put all your eggs in one basket. I'm telling you not to put your eggs in any basket. Their emotions are always up and fucking down. Their emotions are constantly up and down. They are constantly changing and optimizing for what they want in that moment. Um, and you're playing a game that you can't win. Okay. And I'm just giving you the truth. Like you're playing a game you can't win. Um, and it's really best to never believe in love and do whatever you want with zero expectations. So what does this help you do? Well, the first thing that it helps you do is it helps you remove this mushy gushy mindset that love and kisses and cuddles and, and, uh, chocolate chip kisses and Valentine's day exists. And that that's going to do something for you. The amount of time that men waste pursuing women. Okay. Just to feel validated is ridiculous because what you're going to notice is even if you sleep with uh, tons of women, you're going to notice that it feels the same. It's the same positions by the end of it. It doesn't do a whole heck of a lot for you. And what you're going to notice is that even if you're in a relationship, like if you really boil down like the bare bones of it, what are you guys doing? You guys might go on a couple adventures together. You might sit there and eat some food. Okay. And then you guys uh, like it, it just, it doesn't do anything for you. If you really boil this down, it, it doesn't do anything for you. So it's best to never believe in love and do literally whatever you want with no expectations. Because if you have expectations of the other person, they're going to naturally disappoint you, 
Right, nobody ever lives up to their full expectations. Right, even me. I set expectations for myself sometimes and I don't reach them half the time. So expectations, especially if you're putting your eggs in a different basket, where you believe that if you, put your, if you have expectations and you're hoping that that person fulfills them, you're going to be sorely mistaken. So it's best to never believe in love and do whatever you want with no expectations because a woman's love is always conditional based on the value that you bring to the table. It is extremely transactional. Anybody who's like, you know, love should be all about feelings and love is unconditional. Love is extremely transactional, right? It's, it's how she feels when she's around you. And if you stop bringing that feeling, that, that arrangement or that value exchange is no longer brought to the table, you're going to notice people split up. So it's best to do your own thing 24 seven so they chase you instead of you pursuing them. Now, this is one of the biggest misconceptions and the biggest beliefs that I've actually uh, had to discover and rediscover through my own teachings with myself and by gaining more wisdom as I've dated more. I used to think and I used to believe that it is in a man's best interest to lead a woman. Right. So like, you know, you're leading and that's very masculine and she feels feminine when you do that. And there's probably some truth to that, right? If this is you leading, okay, from point A to point B, okay, majority of men believe that it's in their best interest to lead that woman, right? And that she feels very feminine getting to follow that lead. That may be true, but there's even a step above that. Okay. Because in some way, shape or form, this is validation. Right. Instead of <laughs> you're giving her masculinity, right? Yeah. And, and out of all of the masculine traits you could give to a different woman, you, you selected this one. Well, in some way, shape or form, that is validation. I've realized this as I've gotten older, it is best to only lead yourself. When a woman says she wants a man who's like driven or on his own path, when you're leading, if you're leading in order to lead a woman, it still becomes about her. In order for any of this to actually sink in, none of it can be about her. It all has to be about you. Everything is about you, right? The more selfish and self-centered you are, where it's all about you, exactly where you're going, that's what they want, right? So it's like, I'm going to this restaurant with or without you. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm going over here. I want another drink. I want um, to go play a round of golf. Not we're doing this. Not honey, follow my lead and let's go. It's me. It's all about me. It is what I want. And you know what? You're going to watch when you only, okay, if you commit to nobody and you focus on living your own life and making sure that you just lead yourself, watch all of them follow exactly where you're going and then watch them even compete for who gets to follow that lead because you're no longer trying to lead them. You're leading yourself. And that's a man that they want to follow is one with his own path and his own purpose. If you tell yourself, I'm going to be a good boyfriend or I'm going to be a good guy and I'm going to lead this woman, you're giving her masculinity. It's validation. You're giving her a piece of you. You're giving her that. You're, you're giving her those feelings. And a lot of times they, they just, they don't deserve it. Okay. So the more you date, the more you're going to notice that a lot of this stuff makes sense. And I realize I'm in a different position here because I've dedicated like a lot of years to this. I dedicated 10 years to figuring this out. I made sure I got, you know, as jacked as possible to figure out if that's needed or not. I made sure that every little element and aspect of game awareness and female nature I have learned and I've put into play. After 10 years of doing this, the dozens and dozens and dozens of women that I've been with and been out on dates with, I understand I'm at a different level, right? And it might be harder for some of these concepts to click. But what I can tell you is this, all of that heavy lifting that I've done, I've put into this to serve you, right? Because you can learn from my mistakes. You can learn from the things that I had to overcome. You can learn from the truths that I had to discover the hard way by myself. So if you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.